Elwood enters Santaraz, only to be attacked by a strange group. In a desperate moment, he's rescued by a childhood friend, Marcus Ostia's younger brother, Hector. The assailant's meter looks really familiar. I swear, that guy looks familiar. He looks kind of like a Justice Squeak. <laughs> I did not make that connection, but alright. <laughs> it's Elwood's father. He's literally Elwood, but just with a mustache and a few more wrinkles. Elwood has, like, strangely, like, monkey ears. I was gonna say, Elwood has, like... Elwood looks like he would dump the fiend of tomato sauce on his hair, because it is, like, red! Now, do you think it's natural, or do you think he dyes it every day? Well, I mean, his father oh, has the same easy. color hair, and his son has the same color hair, but, uh, even as a kid, so I think it's natural. Maybe they all just yeah, use the same yeah. product. <laughs> <laughs> they encourage it at a young age. <laughs> the Black Fane. Black Fane. Oh. Spoiling the game already. Which one of us gets too far? I haven't fought that far in advance. Oh I, I've counted up pretty far in advance, but not that far. I really want too far. He's so Whoever doesn't get too far gets Nino. Who's bad? Who I know is really good at She's being super there. good if you. Oh! It's the Scottish guy! Boys! That basically looks like the guy we fought on the first level. Um, with a, a shaved head. With a shaved head and all of it. I'm Granzianis, brother! Boys! I've got a Scottish accent! <laughs> yeah. This is a tough level. I remember resetting a lot of on this level. Well, we're not resetting. And it's Guy. Oh, look at that guy! Look how attractive that guy is. Uh, Buck teeth. Needs a haircut and smoke an action. Of course, Guy is, like, infinitely better looking than all these other bandits. <laughs> um, question. Yeah? Um... Yuki Guy. I'm not a fan of Guy. He'd because be one I might be up for trading. I don't, I don't like Guy either. <clears throat> I've maxed him out and he's still not great. I guess Maybe if a, I get, like, a not so great guy. He's a sword Cause, guy. Because you got Hector, and then I... I'm working with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, do you get a haircut? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call your mother, get a haircut. <laughs> Always look both ways before crossing the street. <laughs> Alright, so I go first this time, yeah. Okay, so, we're gonna do the whole trip. Okay, yeah, so Guy is the first of many units who you recruit by talking to them. He's an enemy unit, and he's got a killing edge, which has a really, really high critical chance. And you can only talk to him with Matthew. Yeah. He's my Luckily, Matthew has one extra movement that Guy, so if you move Matthew literally right outside of his range, you can move and talk to him on the next turn. That's true. Or, or you, you can, can have that. Marcus come out. Now I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some big back. Now usually what I do on this level is I, I split up. I spend like Oswin and the and Dorcas and Mark. Oh yeah, That's Oswin is well. Yeah, because there are mostly axe guys down there anyways. We're gonna get a lot of axe guy recruitments. And because Oswin can destroy because here's, the here's the thing: Dorcas and Bartray cannot take the top by themselves. No, they cannot because you've got sword guys. So I usually take Oswin and Marcus, but we're probably gonna want Marcus down for backup just in case. Also, that is going to give us a very powerful weapon. What do you get a mine? A mine. Now, so, mines are basically bombs you can plant in the ground. They deal a small amount of damage to enemies when they walk over them. But there's a glitch in the game where if you reset as soon as they land on the mine and you return to the game, you can control the enemy units and do things like make them drop all their weapons. We Probably gonna, will not be using We are not going to do this because, A, that would require resetting. Oh, oh that's true. I almost but, tried moving Hector. No, um, maybe no after right. the Sluts play's done, we'll show. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, this is Bart Ray. Yeah, I'm gonna break off. Yeah, man. I got Sarah. Yep, definitely take her time, but be strategic where you put her. Yep, definitely. And all right, it's your turn. Now, when you take things out, do you just remove the audio? I literally just remove the audio. That's it. Oh, Hector's probably fine. I'm gonna watch the whole thing in Windows Movie Maker, anyways, and cut out all the other scenes. I'm not gonna like bleep it out because then it'll be like, oh, Artie swears this is a family friendly channel. <laughs> Wait, is he coming down here then? He's your unit, Link. You can do whatever you want. No, I mean Bart. Oh, Bart. Yeah, Bart's going down. Oswin can take that all by himself. I need honestly. Marcus just to say. 
Honestly, Oswin can take that whole so now I by go himself. First yeah, so now you'll go first next week. I like that. Oh, uh, you probably should have stopped by the armory and bought Hector and Iron Axe. Oh, shoot. There's another armory on this level. I think you can buy hand axes. It's on the top, right? Yeah, it's on the top where Oswin's going. Like a steel bow. Yeesh. Yep, this is where the game stops pulling any punches. And this is also which uh, the level that introduces reinforcements. Enemies can appear really? on those forts. Oh. Oh yeah, you're right, I always forget about that. There are also some levels where enemy reinforcements literally come out of nowhere, which is really unfair. So Especially on hard mode, where they appear and then immediately attack. <coughs> Ooh, oh, Matthew wow. critical. He had a 2% chance. <laughs> well, that one had a 2% chance that one, though. So. Oh yeah, and Matthew gets a lot of experience. Matthew gets a lot of experience. He's, okay. he's really weak, but he's really worth it. Something using. you may not actually have known, thieves get a lot more experience than normal units, and also killing thieves gives you a lot of EXP. Yeah. I, 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 okay. I'm not uh, I didn't know that until just I kidding. read it online. Just, so. just kidding. Hector's gonna want to use, use that on the boss. Pretty the much every boss in this game is more if Hector uses the wolf bail. But the wolf bail only has like what 30 uses. Yeah, but if you get the hammer knee staff. You yeah, but one that. of us is gonna be the one who gets it. That's true. Honestly, I can't remember ever using all the hammer stuff. That's okay. So, like, my thing with RPGs is like a lot of the items that are really good, I'll kind of just hoard them. That's pretty much everybody. Which is not good. I should just use them. Oh, that was her first level up. That was kind of a bad level up. She got resistance though, which is yeah. hard to level. Yes. So Marcus is just gonna go in and slaughter everyone. Keep in mind, don't move anyone in range of guy. Because if Marcus gets in range, a he's in danger yeah. of dying, and b he's in danger of killing guy. Yeah, usually on this level, if I don't do the Matthew technique, I'll take all of Marcus's Ooh, weapons yeah. and just use him as human beings. I just thought of something. What? If if Guy dies before we recruit him, do you get the next unit? Or do I get the next unit? Since okay. Guy was technically yours. I'm going to say I would probably still get the next one. So just because that'll shake things up. Because there are some guys that are really hard to get. No, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Alright, Lowen. Oh. Ah, good oh, That's that old <laughs> creepy lady who tells your fortune. Yeah! Uh, oh, I think her name is Hannah. I think her name is Hannah. Great, uh, great she witch. looks more like a hag, I think. <laughs> Just because she looks like a hag? Is that what you're yeah. She's making bombs in her basement. How is this me? In America, they'd risk you for that. <laughs> America, you can actually make uh, bombs. Oh, I, I... Oh, shoot. Oh, never mind. Who's that arranged? Who's that arranged? I don't want to heal Ellie. Or Hector. Ooh, no Actually, are we going to turn off battle animation soon? Because if not, I'm going to just turn them off exclusively for Sarah. Just do that, for now. Alright. So, you hit animation. Alright. That healing animation is really annoying to listen to. And we will be healing a lot, too. Yeah, yep. yep, so that guy literally just appeared at that fort. Do they appear at those three forts at the south? At the south? Right, <laughs> the south, right down there. I like, believe south so. South of yeah. That seems like a pretty good spot for Mullen to get. I can't hear Rishon. No, guy can't reach him. She's right. just out of reach. Just make sure Matthew can actually like, get in right. 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 I'm on Matthew's team. Here you go, Hector. Thanks. It's in my best interest to heal you because I get experience. And Sarah's actually pretty darn good when she... Uh, yeah, she's actually... If you can, if you took the time to get her up to 20 before upgrade, she's actually pretty really solid. Make sure you visit that village as Dorcas. Oh, I'm going to. Because otherwise we can't get the side quest. That guy you know is special because he looks different from all the other generic villagers. Give that torch to Matthew if you can before the level ends. Well, that might be tricky, but I'll try. Well, I mean, it's a seize the throne type of level, so... <laughs> Listen, music kind of gets on your nerves after a while. <laughs> music in this game is, like, good, but... I'd say it gets better as the game goes on. Like the Cock of Destiny just music. Be <laughs> <laughs> I 
Stock holes? Do you know what that is? That's where you fall in love with your cat. No, that's not Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome is where it's like, you, there's something that's like bad, but you kind of just get used to it and it becomes like normal. Oh yeah, so... Uh. So many archers. Until Matthew's like a level 8, he doesn't dodge a lot. Or you can, if you put him in a forest, I guess he dodges more. Yeah, I think alternating who goes first on a given level is working out a lot better. Uh, put him in the forest, I'd say. See how high a chance that brigand has of until. In that forest. Well, but I want him so that he can get to God. Oh. I'll, I'll try to kill that arch. Damage him. Well, five percent chance of the brigand hitting him. Yeah, that's so when he's he... standing on the forest. Though. Right, and like I said, it's good for magic to stand on forests. Yeah, I'm not really worried about him dying. You should, because one axe I think is going to kill him. Well, and I'll try to get rid of that brigand. They might go after Rebecca though, since so she can't uh, fight, fight back. back. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes that's a good strategy. But either. Matthew's wounded, so I'm not sure which they would do. That's true. Hector. Actually, you think it's gonna be a problem? Oh, well, actually, no. Uh, yeah. Guy can reach you, and if Guy doesn't kill you, you're gonna kill Guy. In the yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll try to get rid of that brigand with Lowen. Okay. Does Lowen step on the forest? That's fine. I know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to... There we go. Really? <laughs> well, I was, gonna try to, I was gonna try to destroy it for you so you could pick up uh, my hand. I'm not gonna destroy the snacks. I don't want to do this one. I don't want to do Alright. <laughs> so... No Low one's kind of bad, but, you know... It's cool, bro. Cool. Get right. him off. That would be good. Um... You can Sarah come down to heal them first if you want. I the thing is they're my, well Elwood gets But down they can't move on that train. That's true. I'm used to playing awakening on when you take them over. They do as soon as they appear. Yeah. So okay, so what is your favorite? Now I have played almost all the Fire Emblem games that came out in America. You yep. have not. I have played actually I have played all of them that have come out in America but you except have, Shadow Dragon. You've barely No, you haven't played the Wii one. Okay, that's true. Because I haven't played the Wii one. You haven't played the GameCube. I mean, you've played it. But I you have played. I have played, played like up to chapter ten, I believe. Which is like not very much in the scope of that. Game. That is a pretty substantial portion. That game has like thirty plus chapters, and they keep. Then that's like they, a third of the game. They keep. No, it's not because the later chapters are way longer. Hey, Matthew, don't die. He's not gonna die. So it looks like Link is going to get guy on this turn. Oh, but there are reinforcements. Is it my turn? Or is no, not, turn? it's my turn. I've still got the tree, haven't I? Yeah, that's true. Oswin! Uh, do you want to destroy the snag and then have Oswin move down? Or do you just want to wait till the next turn? I don't care. Good point. I can always move behind you if you destroy the snag and. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'll do that. Just like there. Or if you're. No, Dorcas is going to get that experience. Now, I have a question. Do you remember what's the first level that you can, like, trade and all that before the battle begins? I believe that is the level. After the side quest. Okay, probably. Hmm, Bart? That's pretty good. But I prefer it if someone else can get them some. You're gonna need Lowen to take out probably the Archer. Because if that Eloy can kill the Brigand. It doesn't attack to us though. Hmm. Wait a minute. Well, Rebecca or Matthew can kill. Okay, so, well, Matthew has to talk to Guy. That's true. Oh, that's true. So, okay, here. That would be nice. Um, you could have. You could have Lowen attack that. Uh, so, here's what I'm thinking. Have him attack that Do you want to... archer by Guy. By Guy? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's very nice. Yeah, do it. I'll make sure I'll have my lance. That's a slightly lower chance of hitting, but there are more gonna be more lance around that area. Yep. Now so but anyways, we're going back to the fire games. How does this rank for you? 
This is either the best or the second best. It's this and Awakening are my favorite. I, I would agree with that. I'd say, I I'd have to say, I think at this point I'd have to say Awakening is my favorite just because I've played it so much. I think Awakening is technically a better game. But this one, this one I like the characters in the story. What, well, it doesn't hold your hand. Which it I doesn't, like. well, I, Awakening kind of doesn't. If, if you play on casual mode, it totally Well, is. okay, I'm not, so I was not a fan of the casual mode. Casual mode uh, is, of okay. course, where you can, um, basically play so that there I is a permadeath. I'm not a fan. I'm not actually going to do anything, I just want to see how much you can damage. Eight, darn it. So, that's just not enough. Not, not enough! I bet he could... He... Okay. Will Rebecca finish that guy off? Yeah. yeah. Thank goodness for hitting Bartman. I actually am. You might get a quick one. Probably not. Because I know Hector can get rid of that. Uh, Soldier guy all by himself. Alright. First things first. Steel. Well, this music. The music from, uh. Melee. Yep. The secret music on the Hulu Temple. Very unfortunate. Not, not really. I feel like that's kind of like one of the standout ones that everybody <laughs> plays on. Alright, would you say Great Bay is a from Melee? Uh, I feel like that's one that a lot of people like a lot too. I would say that like, um, please hit Rebecca. I was I want um I would say like Mushroom Kingdom Two is underrated. Well, very few people actually got Mushroom Kingdom Two because you got to do that crazy home run or actually wait. no, it was Yoshi Island we had to do the home run contest to unlock. Oh, was it? Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, because hard. you basically had to use Yoshi. Yeah, and do that like, like water kicking or whatever. We played a lot of <laughs> Didn't we unlock Game & Watch actually by playing a thousand versus matches? Uh, by that was Wish for No Ways. Oh, okay. Also, keep in mind, guys, a Killing Edge, which is a very rare weapon. You can buy them later on in the game, but this is the only one you can get for a while. Do you really want to work? I'm just, I'm just checking. No, I don't. Just check. Nope. I keep it. That's right. I keep trying to pass it. Alright, is he going to shoot Hector or is he going to shoot Eloy? No damage, naturally. Until you face magic yeah. users, no one can really damage Oswald all that much. Even then. Or, or people. Magic users literally pierce his armor like nobody's business. Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. You're a pal. I guess. He's about to get a level. Well, you know, Link, if you gave Marcus his weapons, well, I might now that I've got Oh, Sarah! Dang! Oh. Actually, she is in the forest. Oh, Harry Potter! That's the oh. problem with Rebecca. Until she gets some strength up, it's just, just so hard to win. Oh, yeah. You definitely won't win. Well, math. Yeah. Oh, for sure. My goal is to... Uh, <sighs> it's okay, she can finish off. If she hits. She will. Well, she will. That's a risk I'm going to take, I, even though I guess I had a da, da, one da, da, fourth da. chance at that. Okay, that no was strength. a bad level one. That's okay. I guess you could give her like a steel bow. Are you like, I'm not really gonna level up, guy. I think I kind of have to. He's... Yep. Well, apparently, guys, animations turned off. They, they're they automatically turned off by default. I'm gonna put him on. Like Alright. So you just saw a really guy cool just movies. critical because the killing edge makes you have really high coverage. Yeah. It is pretty boss. It also only has 20 uses. Oh, once we get the secret shops, it's gonna be like, hey, you spent way too much money. <laughs> well, I'm kinda keeping track. Alright. You've bought. One, you bought one vulnerary, I bought two in addition. I also bought a sword and a axe. Yeah. So you've spent it several times. I spent a lot more than you have. Yeah. But you're gonna have to buy an axe for Hector, so. I will. Uh, that's kinda why I sent Marcus up there. Alright. 
thing is, I'm not really sure if I want to level up Art Ray all that much. Yeah. Just because I know I'm getting Dart, unless you let uh, a guy die. Which so far, we're doing pretty well. Actually, wait, I just realized the only person who we recruit that you can let die is uh, Raven. There's no way you're giving up Raven to get Dart. Uh. I guess Lee Golf can technically die. There's like several later who are like technically enemies. Yeah, but you get Dart. That's true. Okay. Well, she's gonna heal Bart. Ray. Get Bart, Bart, Ray, whatever. Bart. Uh, L one's a decent level. Oh, L one's a level four? Holy cow. What, right. what level is L one? L one's a level three. No. So, your guys are pretty low level too. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, Bart Ray. Please hit. He's not going to. Bart Ray. He misses a lot. That's the one thing. Well, Dorcas misses a lot too. I think Bart Ray's got a way better skill. Yeah, I bet you wish he had that skill. One of these will hit. Dun, 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 dun. I, low end is actually probably one of my favorite characters. Is Lowen the favorite. best Cavalier? I think Ken's better personally. Kent also has some glaring weaknesses. I think Lo Lowen is the best. He's got he's the weakest strength. I really? I think he's actually the weakest resistance. Oh. Sades is like the worst because he's basically Marcus. He's just a pain in the butt to level up. Yeah. Once you get him to like a paladin. I would say Sane has the most personality. Oh, Sane's great. Oh, that's right. I can start again. Oh. Never seen it. I've heard it's good. I've never seen it. Yes, if you have a healer, you definitely want to heal you guys even if you're only missing one inch. Agreed. Just for the yeah, XP. Now it's basically. Almost like support! <laughs> I mean, might as well, right? Oh, it's good to see you're still well. Hmm, you expect enough less? No, of course not. You're doing fine. What did you ask? Nothing, I'm just one. No problem. This is an example of one of the support conversations we're talking about. And then once this is over, if they sit next to each other, they'll get a pretty good stat boost. Which they sit next to each other a lot, just based on like <laughs> general placement. Yeah. It, it, uh, it's like... Also, we've been sparring once every two months since we were twelve out of thirty matches. Fourteen out of twelve hours and four. They've been keeping like arduous track of that. Thirty-one matches. They've been fourteen, fourteen, five times. Since you were called. What makes you so? Sorry? Who snoring was to shoot the rafters in the response? So basically, it's like they're just like dissing each other back and forth. It's like, now we're buddies, and it's like, they, yeah. they, they, their support level increase. Now, okay, plus. So they recently released on the Wii U a um, Shin Megami Tensei a Persona crossover game with Fire Wait, That's actually a fan? I thought that was a fan game! No, 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 <laughs> that's legit. And it, like, what? It, it's like the Fire Emblem characters go to your high school. That's no, no, it's no, no, no. no. It's that's a, so okay, so I have played the person like I have played a persona game. You are pulling my leg. No, I'm not. Like that's actually what it is. And like I played Persona, I played Fire Emblem. I'm definitely more of a Fire Emblem fan. Um, but what? So okay, we talked about advanced wars. What would be your opinion of a advanced wars Fire Emblem crossing? How would that even work? There'd have to be time travel involved. Oh well, I'm, plot wise, it would be stupid. But like, again, time, time travel is already in the Fire Emblem series. That's true. Spoiler alert. Give, giving Hector a hand axe. You might want to give Hector two hand axes, actually. <laughs> he eats through axes. They're cheap. Fast. They're cheap, right? Uh, Plus, they only have 20. I'm going to give Guy a hand axe. That's a good strategy. Actually, Guy is one of those characters where I want you to give him a sun sword. Mm -hmm. Just because he, he, actually, he does benefit from the good crit rating. No, wait, you keep that. Oh, you're right. He's passing a control attack and stuff. Okay. Hector's wolf bail probably only has like 12 uses. <laughs> Which is a shame because it's, it's probably so one of the better. best weapons. Oh, yeah. it's he hasn't done a critical yet either, which is too bad. Like, that's a, that just like, it pains me when it's like, why is one help and it's like, yeah, it's just sweet it a little bit harder. Yeah, exactly. He's already a level 3 as well. Hector gets good level ups too. Oh, he absolutely. rarely levels up resistance, but other than that. That music means there's only one And guy there's left time before. to face that guy with a uh, guy. No, not one guy. 
<laughs> that would be probably the last person in the world. Or better, Matthew. I don't think Matthew or Rebecca correct. I'm guessing it was going to be a job for Hector. I should try the hand axe. Well, uh, or you could just save attack with the hand axe. Two! <laughs> what does this guy have? Steel ants. Take that, boys! 18 uses. Alright. Okay. Fine. Fine? Future? Okay. Fine. Oh, that, okay. So I know we've talked about you potentially doing the one off let's play Spider Man 2 on PS2. <laughs> that would be a great one off let's Oh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, that game is great. You just, at, like, okay. So, like, I had a friend who had that. We spent, we played that a ton. We, like, never once actually played this sort of thing. We literally just ran around New York. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Also, certain characters have special boss quotes. If you. Yep. Yeah. Like Peter. Oh, yes. <laughs> Has there ever been a fight around with a character named Peter? Oh. <laughs> My character's wounded. What are you doing? Oh, he only has more damage taken. <laughs> Now, the thing is, is Lowen gonna try to get some javelins in there or something before Hector? Well, I mean, I'm gonna try to use the hand axe. What's this? Bark Ray, you're killing me! <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna get the kill with the this just to ruin it. Oswin hit Bart Ray? Why didn't you? We're fighting the capital of Ida. Also, Oswin starts at a level 9. Spell different. So that's why part of the why he's so good. He's pretty good. I was okay. So oh, that's Morcus. I'm sorry. I am not a big fan of the knight class. Like an I am. Games. I really like. Um, hey, Marcus. Oh, uh, what is? In, who's the one in Awakening that I like? Um, Kellum. No. Kid Jail. Yeah, she was good. And then in in <laughs> uh like? in Conquest. <laughs> Way to go, Owen. In Conquest, there is a really, really good knight. You, you can actually kind of make fast. Oh, that's right, I haven't played Conquest anymore. Alright, yeah. never, never mind, I've only played about three. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you've not played very much. Four, actually. I've, I've been meaning to play uh, Birthright and the uh, second expansion. I'm going to try to get some supports between Owen and uh, Ellen. And if I want, uh, since I'm the only one who can seal the throne, I can be- I'm not gonna seal until I've waited on turns. I mean, you can, but I mean, that would be that really would be boring. boring. Let's play. Darn it, I was gonna stuff. finish you off the turn! <laughs> Heck, you just got like four level ups in one I know. stage. Some levels are just like that. I guess three level ups. I think we're well on our way to getting geats, right? Honestly, I could care less for geats. That level was harder than the other one. Yeah, I guess eventually we're gonna have to think of like certain levels are harder. Like the, there's like various levels where it's like you can this one or this one. Depending on your unit's level. Yeah. So yeah. there's one where it's like, oh if, well if your magic units are really high, you'll go to like the Kenneth level, otherwise you'll go to the Jeremy level. There you go. Okay. I do want to make sure everyone's topped off on HP and tested and seeds. All right, Sarah so got a level. Please tell me you're actually going to see this. We're not just going to see everyone. Uh, well, oh, everyone is already healed. Not 100. Yeah. No, nope, oh. Elwood was missing one HP. Oh, he wasn't. I hailed him earlier. I checked everyone. This guy is dead. Your father, he is Dark Rider. Okay, hang on. So he was like, stabbed in the neck, wasn't he? How did he survive all this time? <laughs> uh, he had to tell me this. The plot, the plot requirement. <laughs> oh, Elwood's oh, still kind of like smiling. He's like, okay, there, Elwood really only has like two sprites where he actually is not. Smiling. And there's the one where he's looking directly at the camera, which is great. Like, I don't know, Marco, which you mean. <laughs> Oh, who's this man? Oh, he's, he's Lin's servant as well. Is he? Yep. He looks like Pichal, babe. <laughs> that guy was uh, remarkably calm. He's like, excuse me, my master just died. What should I do? <laughs> he, oh, Heck yeah. Heck yeah. 
So side quests are optional. Oftentimes they're pretty tough, but they often have really good rewards. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'm Color Flarty. And I'm Like the Hero 64. And we'll see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.